All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and we have got a new Prime Battle event out. Now, these Prime Battles, once upon a time, used to be pains in the ass and stuff like that. I mean, it's still going to be a long grind. Um, by the way, this is really the only SSR Bobbity in the game, so you may want to hold on to a copy of this Bobbity SSR right here. Um, and then, of course, we have the TUR as well as the LR, uh, Bobbity and Boo. These guys are pretty good. Um, I think using them in some sort of extreme physical type environment or setting, you know, with all these other powerful Majin Buu characters, LR Boo tanks, Physical Kid Boo, Physical Fat Boo, Deborah, like, you have a lot of really good extreme physical units. You can just run, like, a full sort of, like, Majin Buu extreme physical build, and you will tear a lot of shit up. Battlefield, Super Battle Road, shit is gonna be real good. Now, the other reason <clears throat> these are super mega easy to do now is the existence of these LR EZAs. We're going to take Prime Battle Frieza in here, and this is just going to be a massacre. Uh, Prime Battle Frieza and these units, like, again, we are going to absolutely, like, torch uh, this event. I, I don't really expect um, any, difficult wh any difficulty whatsoever, because this Frieza is, like, legitimately one of the top units in the game. Now, obviously, depending upon a certain unit next to him, right, you know, we want, like, another Frieza unit next to him or something like that, which will really dramatically raise his power, but... I mean, I expect this is a one-shot right here because, you know, my freeze is full level 10 links. Um, and then this friend freeze has got a decent as well. We got Cumber. There's a lot of good options you can use. Like, so the thing about freeze as leader, I should point this out, right? Like, uh, you know, the homie Sunblade mentioned this recently too. That like something like the easy LR Goku on global or, you know, this freeze as well right now in JP. The, yeah, look at this. Like, he just got one shot. Like, it's an instant one-shot death. Like, the thing about these units right here... Oh, actually, this this is going to give us link levels. This would be a good way to, to link level a lot of these free-to-play units right here as we get to that final stage. Actually, yeah, okay, 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 interesting. But it's going to be very easy to sort of... Oh, we didn't even get the trap. Okay, that's fine. But uh, it, it's going to be very, very easy to sort of tear through this event uh, with, you know, Prime Battle Frieza literally one-shotting him like every single time right and the thing about freeze and goku not only are they ridiculously overpowered good like you know I, we could I, I could literally swap around and we can do a team build of uh lr prime battle goku because i guess like you know it's very uh, interesting that they changed the fight here i mean obviously you know that first fight you know that's sort of i guess that's probably bobbity versus piccolo um but now you know over here this is sort of like the area like you know where super saiyan 3 goku uh, is fighting against uh, Fat Boo, right? Um, so, what was I going to say? Uh, like, with Prime Battle Goku, right? Okay, let me change that. With Prime Battle Frieza, let's just see, like, how much damage Cumber will do right here. But again, this is another turn where we're just going to get instant death on this guy right here. Uh, don't really expect uh, too much difficulty, but... Um, Frieza, in order to have him fully easy aid, you have to have so many units fully easy aid right uh you know fully easy aid grind it up like you got to do easy aid areas you just have to do so much shit in order to get these units ready to go right uh whereas prime battle goku you also have to do a lot of units but it's not quite as many right so you know that's why like maybe I, I, we'll, we'll do a build uh this instant death right here 2.1 there's just no chance we'll do a build of prime battle goku and uh, i'll sort of see like you know what super class options we can use there i guess what's interesting is i am using a full extreme class theme right here but you know the leader skill for frieza is extreme class 4 key and 90 percent of stats or super class key 3 and 70 percent of stats so i could even bring super class units on here right like you know, if there is some type of, like, free-to-play support type unit that's a super class unit that hits everything, that could be, like, a really good idea to do. Like, I, I just sort of threw something together. Like, at Prime Battles, once upon a time, you know, you know, people were using, like, the Ginyu Force, you know, with, like, uh, Namek Kid Gohan leading them and stuff like that. Now, it's like, if you've got this shit done, you take this Frieza, we go in here, and, like, every single phase, we're literally just one-shotting the boss. Like, there's no difficulty whatsoever. Um... So we will see. And again, I, I try and highly encourage people to get this done. I, I think like, it, you know, it, if you just did a couple of runs per day, um, 
I think it'll be pretty easy to get a majority of the medals you need. And then, you know, the event will come back, you know, on, you know, physical day is Friday, right? So the event will be back on Friday. You know, do a couple of runs every Friday and you'll have this unit done before their legendary campaign comes. Because remember, one of the things about these legendary campaigns now is they want people to have it done before the legendary campaign starts. So they, they kind of split the rewards up. You get some rewards, you know, uh... At, at, like right before the campaign starts and then you get some you know once the campaign actually begins that's you know sort of the way they do it now so you do want to make sure that you have these units done and a lot of people love to wait until uh the legendary campaign happens because like for example krillin right krillin now has increased drop rates from characters that have inhuman deeds right which again includes this frieza includes that lr goku black samasu unit we're using so it's going to be ridiculously easy to sort of like use this build right here and just absolutely like speed sprint um through that event right okay so we're going to take a super attack right here so let's go ahead and see how much damage we're going to take from a super attack uh and and then after that i imagine goku black samasu is going to one shot uh babidi and boo so let's go ahead and see how much damage we take right here super attack animation does look pretty good right like, uh, that's the thing, like, all units now, like, like, major units, like, this free-to-play LR, oh! Okay, that's it, look, look how much damage he did on a normal, <laughs> but that's interesting, we, you know, we got the, the seal right there, I mean, we're still able to kill, because, again, our leader skill is just so good, and these units are so strong, remember the link level update is now a thing, so I get to see, oh, a 10, a 10 drop right away, that's not bad, um, it seems like, you know, these events, the difficulty was not adjusted for this, right? The difficulty is still literally just, you know, the way prime battles have been for a while. So, like, you you know, if you have any of these characters link leveled, like, again, my, you know, Frieza has full level 10 links, so he will be able to absolutely demolish this with, like, little effort. Um, okay. So, I want to use this other team I built right here. I mean, I imagine... Uh, a lot more people are going to have this uh, Goku Black as their leader, and you can run a Time Traveler team. You know, some of these units will maybe be a pain in the ass to get. Some of them won't. Uh, I, you know, listen, you should farm up units here and there, um, you know, when they release. I know a lot of people tend to ignore a lot of free-to-play units. Um, I never have, you know. I'm one of the biggest whales this game has, but still, I'm grinding all these units. I'm even rainbowing free-to-play units and stuff like that because there's a lot of events where uh, these units are actually going to matter, right? This Cumber, is the, isn't this the Cumber that has the support type ability when he gets hit in slot one right there? So, like, that that's, you know, as soon as he gets hit, I believe his support type ability will activate. Bobbity probably stuns uh, or seals or does something like that. Uh, what is it? Or Cumber... When he attacks, he gives all ally, all extreme class allies a support type buff. I think something like that. So by having him in slot one, all of our allies are going to be able to go ahead and get the buff, which is very, very nice. And then right here, look at this. Just decimation. Um, you know, with some of these Dragon Ball Heroes event uh, characters, like Ames and uh, Great Saiyan Man number four, it is very, very easy for us to go ahead and get um, uh, a lot of key, right? Like, look at this. this there's just literally no chance of anything except for instant death like here let's just go ahead and put gray same man 4 and let, let's see how this goes like I, a gray same man 4 could get super attacked anything could happen and i don't know that it really matters actually that would be a good play by me putting him in slot one if bobby and boo would have super attacked immediately like that right look at that even he does that much damage so it's like uh, like like I, I don't know like like the free to play units in the teams now are just so powerful you know they didn't really upgrade the difficulty of this event so this is exactly what happens we just destroy it like this with ease um maybe let me do one more run let's go ahead yeah we're gonna start getting a lot of link levels here this is fine uh a lot of link levels while grinding this prime battle i got no problem with because you know you never know when some random easy like free to play character make an easy or something like that be very useful in like certain events and shit so like i'm totally cool with that um, let me build a Prime Battle Goku team real fast, uh, and we'll go ahead and just, like, tear through this with a Super Class team, uh, and we will see how this is going to go, right? So, uh, I'll probably, I don't know, I might jump on to 5-9, uh, maybe later on tonight or something like that, and we'll just go ahead and tear through, uh, this grind right here as much as we can. I mean, it's gonna be a long, tedious, arduous grind, but, you know, that's the way it is. So, let's go Super Class. So, of course, we're just going to have a bajillion units to use. Let's go Goku. Um, so, Goku has the same leader skill. 
Oh, actually, uh, Kid Goku and Rale would be good at creating the rainbow orbs. That would be amazing. Um, B Pan, yes, ma'am. Let's go ahead and bring STR Gogeta. Sure, why not bring STR Gogeta? Um, dude, like, the, the options you have are so good here. Let's just bring Goku and Vegeta. Or, excuse me, Vegeta and Trunks. Uh, Bardock, we could do Great Saiyan. We could do Grandpa, Gohan, and Pan. Khalifla, like, like, see, I, I have a lot of free-to-play units rain, but I'm ready for events like this, right? Um, oh, how's about I bring this Vegeta right here, the SSR, for the Vegeta and Chunks? Why not? I mean, it doesn't, like, he's an SCR unit, right? Who cares? The, actually, yes, for free-to-play players and stuff like that, for this event, that could actually be really good, because that Vegeta is a free rainbow unit, right? Like, that's the thing. I know a lot of people... Like, especially if you're not a long... Like, long-time players, the chances are pretty good that, you know, they've just... You've accumulated so many orbs throughout the game's history that it's not really even going to be that big of a deal giving orbs and supplies and resources to, like, some of these free-to-play units and shit like that, right? Whereas, when we're talking about, you know, new players, like, obviously, you're not going to have the resources to just toss a bajillion, you know, orbs and Elder Kai's and potential shit like that for, like, some of these easy units, you know, these free-to-play units with orbs and stuff like that. People aren't going to be able to just go ahead and do that easily. But if you're a long-time player, you could. But that Vegeta has his own... Like, he's a free rainbow unit, right? Like, his orbs, you can just go ahead and grind up pretty easily. So it's not going to be too bad uh, getting this Vegeta uh, to rainbow, right? Uh, and then, yeah, this is this is just GG. Like, <laughs> LR Kid Goku and Arale are going to actually be a pretty good unit for an event like this with their rainbow orb creating... Like, look at this. This, this. It just doesn't really matter. Like, if, you know, if you have, like, type advantage type characters, we're just going to absolutely obliterate this. Like, you know, that Vegeta, again, it's just like a, a free-to-play SSR from that, you know, Cell Games event. Or, no, he's just from the Cell Saga event uh, last year before the 300 million download celebration happened, right? So, very, very good. So, let me know what you guys think. Yeah, this is super easy, dude. Like, this Goku... In slot one, so he's fighting an extreme class enemy. He's going to be giving the entire buff to the whole rotation. For starters, he's going to one-shot Bobbity and Boo anyway, right? They're going to get one-shotted. But even if he didn't, he's then powering up the rest of the rotation with key and crit chance and extra attack. Like, like look at that. That's beyond decimation right there. <laughs> I might actually use my super class team so I can maybe try and get uh, the last couple of links for LRB Pan or something like that. We will see. But, I mean, there we go. The Prime Battle events now are beyond a joke. You're just going to be able to tear through this with little effort. Um, if you have either the Prime Battle Goku or the Prime Battle Frieza EZA done, it's it's, it's going to be a joke. But there's still a lot of easy free-to-play teams and shit like that you could do. Like, you know, just using the uh, Namek Saga and the Ginyu Force team is going to allow you to tear through it, right? The Ginyu Force team will be fine, led by uh, Kid Gohan. I believe all these events are currently up on JP. Obviously, it's so people can get this kid Gohan done and use the Planet Namek Saga team to grind up the LR Bobbity and Boo. So, uh, let me know what you guys think of this uh, Prime Battle uh, event, Bobbity and Boo. Shit is definitely not hard. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.